Exciting. All right. So um, we are back from break. I am going to repeat what I just did. Uh, with the nostril, it's going to be some of you have very small noses. Two faces is fine. Definitely more than one face. You definitely need two or more faces. I didn't say that before. Don't do a one face extrusion. Definitely do two. So one, two, three, four, five, six for me. So two, four, or six. Hit extrude, keeping it local. Pull it in, bring it down. And I have this nice little ring of vertices to play with. And I'm going to quickly model. That's my center. This is my center. I'm going to quickly model this ring of vertices to be in place with my nose. And what you're going to notice is as you start, you know, your no, you're not your flat nostril hole might not. Mine goes vertically up right there. It flares upward, and I need to move some of these vertices out of the way to see that. Like my original geometry with no nostril needs to get tweaked a little bit to make this work. So I'm going to pull that up. I want you guys to notice I'm pulling up on my nostril first before shaping out the circle. I'm really trying to line it up on my front view before anything. You do want to even out the center vertices. Sometimes people neglect the center vertex before extruding inward. I am recording. Yes. Good. Could you do another extrusion for the nostril or just one? I've just, I'm repeating because I forgot to hit record. So someone is listening that was not here. Who's not here? Everyone's here though. There we go. Something like that. That's looking good. All right. Now we extrude upward and inward. So now we start picking our nose. That's where I was getting at with that rhythm, right? So now I have all six faces again. Now that I have a nice circle, I hit extrude. This time, hit global. Pull it up. Boop, 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 boop. And I like to give a small ridge for the first one. I like to, to do a small, just like the eyelid back in when you did, when you did uh, your model on the intro to class. When extruding, so the first one's really small. That's going to give you a nice little ridge. Then I extrude again, global, and I push it way up. And then make sure it doesn't poke through your nostril. So definitely, and then shrink it down a little bit. And you don't have to get too detailed on how it looks because hopefully no one's looking up there. But make sure it doesn't, a uh, couple things here. Someone was asking about mirroring. Make sure when you do this, it doesn't cross over your plane to the right. So, and then make sure it doesn't cross over, pokes through your, your nostrils. Maybe one more even. So you didn't move any of the vertexes. You didn't create, you didn't like make the hole for the nostril yet until you started the extrusion, the extra extrusions. Yeah. Yeah, so one extrusion's flat and I really spent a lot of time when it was flat. And then, here I'll even undo it. I don't mind undoing this. There you go, right? So, um, checking, yeah. I spent a lot of time with these vertices, making sure it was the right shape. That flat, the flat extrusion, I was getting really detail oriented. And then once I had that, right, I hit extrude, boop, global, pull it up, just a little bit. That makes a nice little ridge. And then extrude again, and pull that one way up. That gives me that nice looking nostril. You could extrude one more time to kind of get it to hold its shape up top if you want, but definitely avoid the poke through like that. Move that guy over too. There you go. And then when that's all said and done, like I noticed my nostril flares a little bit more. Kind of. And once you create that edge, you, you can kind of see where you're getting your, your the ridge becomes more clear. Yes. 
All right. Nice big old nostril. Okay, maybe I maybe I did myself a little dirty here. Let's do a little. It's not bad. There you go. Something like that. Boom. this if you keep like wanting to fuss with it that shows that you care yeah that's a good sign not perfect i did i did switch it to three to kind of check i'm gonna hobble between both because I have this weird crease thing happening right here with my ledge because I fussed with that. I made that ledge too tight. So I'm, I'm kind of... I do hop back and forth between the two quite often. All right. And I think I, I did I did the artist I did yeah I draw what I thought I thought I saw instead of what I actually saw and I made my nose a little bit bigger because of my subconscious problems right uh, and that is the artist dilemma have you guys heard that phrase draw what you see not what you think you see so like when you see your nose you're really seeing shadows and light bouncing off your nose you're not seeing your real nose like you're seeing your yeah. anyway. That's, I'm going to stick a fork in it. There you go. It's a little bit big. I'll shrink it when we combine it all. Got a nostril. Got a bridge. Got a septum. Yes. So I'm at this part. I was just trying mm -hmm. to get kind of the shape yeah. right. So what do I do next? And then select this, the four faces in the middle. Uh, it, it does you hit five. Go back to five. It, it makes it weird. Yeah. Makes it hard to select when you're in form of I know, the new, the newer versions of Maya. And the shift, so yeah, so, and then the other two. Extrude and push it up. Go global. So hit the switch to global. Then green arrow up. Oh, too far. A little bit, just a little bit to the ridge, and then do it again. Extrude again. Like that. Command E again. Yeah, perfect. Totally, sir. Global. So I'm pull it up and shrink it so it doesn't poke through the top of your nose. There you go. And see how it's poking through the top? You got to shrink it and kind of move it to the left. How much do I need? Wait, whatever, whatever, because this side won't matter as much, right? So then see how it's poking through? Let go. Yeah. And then kind of full red arrow. And then you can shrink it too. So then let go. Click on one box, just click it. And then grab the center box, and that way it'll shrink all. Boom. Nostril. Maybe not that small. Like that? Yeah. Catching up. Speed running. Right, I was good with late work back in the day too, right? I've been late work accepting for that. You guys haven't played yet? You guys are doing great. This is so easy because I'm such a good teacher. So good, just Jamar and watch it. Man. Boom. All right. Calling it. Ben's ready. You're almost ready. I'm almost ready. You're ready. Friday looks ready. 
John's close to ready. Reagan's pretty much there. You like to do it on your own. You like to absorb and do it on your own. I just oh. forgot the fold the file, and I just gave you a full oh. blast. Jamar, you like to absorb and then work on your own? It's because I'm so entertaining. You can't focus on, on the model. Uh, it's just I, when I get into something, I just like to do it until I finish it, you know? Okay. Um, the, 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 total, the total run time right now? Is 120 minutes. More when I'm focused in the morning. Okay. I, I, I know. Do you, yeah, you don't have to tell me it's tough. Uh, these late, these late night classes. We're getting closer and closer. I'm going to get better at you, right? So we had, we had more of a gap open session. I'm about to do the ear in a second, and I, I just want to get you to a certain point, and then I'm going to cut and say it's going to be open time again. But I, I noticed a lot of people were having trouble play blasting through the camera view. So I wanted, I wanted to just kind of reiterate what to do. Okay. Do you feel like you're ready to turn in? Do you feel like you're ready to turn in? Do you feel like you're ready to turn this one in? Yeah. Yeah? Do we have to connect it to the... Uh... No, just leave them separate pieces right now. Good question. We will... We're going to have the ear be a third piece that's separate. Then we'll connect them all together and play connect the dots with the scalp. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Eyeball. Uh, we'll put an eyeball in there for reference, and then we're gonna clean up. Like mine looks a little lippy. Like mine looks like a has a little too severe of a of a ridge right here. So once you put the ball in there, we do that's in my cleanup phase. Yeah. We're gonna learn all the fruit. Yeah. So that looks great, man. Good work. You think that part's a bit skinny? Oh, wait, put it on the jump here. Looks at this. I think if you kind of, you see that, that vertex right? Let me just do it. I think you just got a really steep change on that vertex there. Yes. One, one, one to the left, up to the left, up and to the left, up. That kit, dang open that. Yeah. Mess with that one a little bit, I think, uh, and pull it up a little. That's gonna hold, and then pull it. Yeah, I feel like, and then pull, zoom out. Change your angle a little bit. That's helping. Yeah, and then we'll talk later about making that ridge ridge less severe. But that's good for now. Okay, so turn it in? Yeah. Okay, uh, let me talk about turning it in again real quick. If you have a camera spinning, all you have to do is, I think a few of you had this. Some people turned it in like this from perspective view and the camera was twirling around. What I want you to do is I want you to go to panel perspective camera and play blast it from your camera so it spins around. Now, if you're on camera and it doesn't spin around, then we got to keyframe your camera, right? So if you're on camera and it doesn't spin around, we'll keyframe it. Uh, but if you, most of you built the camera fine, I remember, right? So if, if the camera's here twirling, just make sure you're looking through it. So once again, it's up here in pers panel, perspective, camera. And now right click, play blast, and you can call it nose. If you wanna be official, you can call it 421 self-portrait nose underscore self portrait 
nose underscore last name. Hit desktop or wherever you're doing it. Save, apply, or play last. Spin it, turn it in. You're gonna go here and you're gonna turn that into your nose. Does it give you uh, confetti? Like a uh, upload file, choose file, desktop. I don't like this view. Boop. Submit. Um, if you don't compress it, Ben, I'm okay downloading it. Some people have turned it in uncompressed. It's fine. It just takes a, a little while to upload. But So don't feel like if you're on a PC and it, it doesn't ex export with uh, that. You guys don't get confetti. The high school kids get confetti. You hit submit and it goes, it goes congratulations. And all the, there's regular confetti and then each confetti is different. Like sometimes it's pizza slices. Sometimes it's rocket chips. I know. You guys... You guys didn't get that option, man. I really wish. So I missed the whole setting up a camera thing. Oh. So, I mean, I know how to set up a camera. I just, which am I just doing? You're going to create a camera. You're going to, here, I'm going to verbally tell you and see if you can do it. You're going to create a nerve circle. Okay. You make the nerve circle really, really, really big. You lift it up high. Then you set up your camera, looking through your camera. Then you parent the camera to the nerve circle. And you keyframe the nerve circle. To make it spin around. This way, you're not keyframing your your model to spin it. So here, I'll show. I'll show you. I'm gonna do it really fast. Ready? Oop. Uh oh. Rut row. Stop. Yeah. Create an herb circle. Oh, rut row. Hope you all saved. Everyone hit Command S. Do we get a crash? I'm going to hit stop on my...